Hey, I'm Darlene from GoDaddy's How To. And I'm Emma from The Journey. And today we're going to talk about seven tactics you can use in your business to promote social distancing. And in the wake of COVID-19 crisis, social distancing has been the primary strategy for avoiding exposure. And you want to create a safe environment for yourself, your employees, and your customers. So our first tip is to arm those customers and employees with more information. It's really important to educate everyone on how and why social distancing works. The CDC offers a number of printable fact sheets you can display at your place of business, informing people about the need for social distancing and how diseases like COVID-19 are transmitted. Number two. Postpone large-scale events or stream them online. As recommended by the CDC, it's in the best interest of public health to cancel or postpone large-scale in-person events like conferences, sporting events, and concerts. And gatherings of more than 10 people are not recommended. So musicians, churches, and other businesses that require an audience might consider streaming their concerts and their services online. And you might want to use YouTube Live or ViewStub as a way to broadcast yourself or events. Number three, replace in-person conversations with virtual ones. Instead of meeting face-to-face, -face, meet virtually. In most cases, it's not too difficult to use an online platform to replace a simple meeting with a video conference or a conference call. If it's a small committee meeting, try free versions of Google Hangouts, Slack, and Zoom. If you need to host a webinar or a large meeting, try Microsoft Teams, live events, or GoToWebinar. Yeah, in fact, I actually did that today, darling, for a webinar, which leads us to number four, allow remote work. Even better, transition to remote work setup. If any of your employees can do their jobs from home, let them work from home. Facebook, Google, Twitter, and Amazon and GoDaddy are just some of the companies enacting more flexible work from home policies. For some roles, remote work even leads to increased productivity. So don't worry right now about productivity loss. Number five, lean on online services when possible. Starbucks recently transitioned to a to-go only model to reduce foot traffic. A lot of restaurants around the country are shifting to a pickup only model, not allowing anyone to dine in. Retail stores, including some liquor stores and grocery stores are adopting a similar model. Then you can either ship them or walk products out to customers when they drive up. Shipped.com is a delivery option for groceries and other large retailers. In an effort to help restaurants, Uber Eats committed to supporting the restaurant industry by waiving the delivery fee for more than 100,000 independent restaurants across U.S. and Canada on Uber Eats. Number six, reduce cash handling. The era of cryptocurrency and digital wallets is nearly here, but in the meantime, I know many people still prefer cash, right? However, the CDC recommends avoiding high-touch services like doorknobs and tables. Of course, paper money and coins, which changes hands multiple times a day, is one of the most high-touch services around. As a temporary measure for brick and mortar locations, just reduce or eliminate cash handling. Instead, use tap-based payment systems or digital payment systems whenever possible. Consider PayPal, Venmo, or even Apple Pay and Google Pay as a way to avoid handling money. And finally, number seven, stagger customer flow. If you absolutely have to bring people into your store, consider monitoring the amount of people allowed in the store at any given time. The less crowded a store is, the less likely you'll have people in close proximity. As customers wait in line, you could put down markers on the floor six feet apart to remind them of social distancing. I've also seen a lot of stores offer special times for seniors to shop before the general population as they require extra care during these challenging times. Very, very true. All right. That's all for today. We hope that these videos will help businesses and entrepreneurs continue to serve their customers safely and effectively. And if you need any help, you can always call our customer support to speak to one of our GoDaddy guides. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.